Hey guys, today we're in Lightroom and we have images of a Leica film camera that I quickly want to go through and share with you guys some tips to maybe expedite your workflow so that when you're going through a new set of images, maybe it'll help you to speed things up as well. This is something that I do all the time and thought that I would share it with you guys today. Now, I shot this Leica M3 film camera. I shot it with a Canon 5D Mark III. I had a 50 millimeter f1.2 lens and I think I shot this at f1.4 just to go for some crazy shallow depth of field okay now I messed with the focus points when I was shooting this so that I would know that when I'm going through and making my selects that if I had two or three of each image that I would know that okay this one has better focus or this one has better focus in keeping with the kind of focus that I want, okay? So it would make it even more apparent. So what I wanted to share with you guys is there's a little known feature, or maybe it's very known, but at least something that I wanna share with you is if you go into the photo menu and you go all the way down to this thing called auto advance, okay? What that means is that when you, let's say, make a selection on an image, rather than it staying on that image, it will advance to the next image. So that if you're making a quick sweep of your images, okay, it will basically advance. I'm gonna show it to you. It's easier to show than actually talk about. Another thing that I wanted to tell you is that I use a rating system that's very quick when I go through a new set of images, okay? And I use the letter P <coughs> on the keyboard. That's for a pick. Um, and I use X for an image that's a reject. Um, and then let's say you're doing picks and rejects and you find an image that you're not sure about, you can hit you for undo. So it's kind of like the pick is like the yes button, okay, when I'm going through these images. So here's an image and here's an image. Um, this is this is definitely a pick and this one is not, so that's gonna be an X. And you see how it auto advanced to the next image. Now I've got two of these to select from and I think I like the one where the focus is more on the end of the lens of the barrel. So I hit this for P and advance to the second image. I hit this for X. And let's look at these right here. Um, these are pretty similar. So let me just give it a quick little look. Um, man, that is some soft focus right there, huh? You know, this is a tough call. I kind of like that one better. So this is gonna be an X and you see how it advanced? This is gonna be a P. Oh, and I have a third version of this image right here. You know what? Actually, I like the focus on this one a lot better. So I'm gonna go back to this one. I'm gonna hit an X, and then I'm gonna hit a P for this one. So you guys understand how this is working. The P is a pick, so that's putting a flag, okay, on the image, all right? And X is a reject, so that means that it's being rejected, okay? And then, now I'm gonna keep going over here. So here's, you know, version one, version two, Okay, so you can see in version one and version two how on version one, I focused up on the writing on the top of the camera. Version two, I purposely focused on the lens barrel. They're both cool images, but for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to hit the pick on this one, and I'm going to hit an X on this one. Although, there's something I kind of like about that. So, you know what? I'm going to pick this one too. Um, let's see. Now we got another angle here, and I'm just going to quickly go through them. All right, this is definitely a non-keeper. Uh, this is definitely a non-keeper. The focus is bizarre. So now let's go between version one and version two. Um, let's see. This is a really tough call here. I think I like version two more. So version one becomes an X. This becomes a P. And let's move along. We've got another side over here. Wow, look at all that chromatic fringing, that purple stuff. All right, um, let's see. That is really kind of wonky, waiting for previews. And, you know, I think there's something, wow, look at that shallowness in the depth of field. That is a tough call right there. Um, I think I like this one better, so I'm gonna pick that. I'm gonna d delete that one or reject it. And let's see, we're looking at the film transport. Um, I don't think I want it without, well, actually without the tray is kind of cool. So we'll just pick that one and let's see. We have a couple more here. Um, hang on, I'm waiting for the preview. Um, yeah, I can tell already. I'm not particularly gonna like that one. This one is probably my pick. So not this one, hit that in X 
and this one's an X. Okay, so look at how quickly that, that happened for us, okay? The, the picks and the rejects. Now, all right, so now let's go into grid mode, and now we can see we've got our picks, which we can see are, are, are flagged, and they're kind of lighted, whereas our rejects, which have an X in a flag, um, those are kind of... Um, they're muted. So I don't really want to see the rejects because I've rejected them. So I'm going to hit the flag filter button over here. And now we've got our flagged images. Okay, now there's another really cool feature that um, is called solo mode. Okay, so now you see how we're looking at our side panels here. And we've got all these different kind of um, you know, the different modules, the different modes all showing, well, sometimes that can feel very cluttered. So all you really need to do is if you click on any one of those modules and you right click, okay, you can see right here where it says solo mode. And the cool thing about that is that if you're in any one of these modules in solo mode, that means the other modes are collapsed. So you have less clutter. So let's say I want to go to keywording. Look at that everything collapses. I want to go to metadata. Collapses. Now the same thing is true for the develop mode. So let's hit D for develop. And we've got the same deal over here. We've got all of these different modes. Okay, they're all kind of cluttering up the sidebar here. I'm just going to basically go into, um, let's say we'll just go into here. We'll go into solo mode. And boom, there we go. We can actually we'll just close the histogram for now. But the cool thing is like I go into the basic curve, I mean, the basic module and everything else closes. I go into the tone curve, everything else closes. I go into detail, everything else closes, okay? So that is what solo mode is all about. Now, solo mode obviously is easy to get rid of. There's another thing that you can see right here is you see how all the different modes in the develop module are selected. You can also turn any of these things off or unclick them so that way they won't even be there. So look what happens. I get rid of cal camera calibration, it's gone. Um, let's say I don't want effects, that's gone, all right? So those, if they're cluttering up your, your workspace, you can get rid of them if you want. All I'm doing is I'm right clicking into one of the bars that's open in the mode. Now the same thing can be said for the, um, for this, this toolbar over here, I can also go into solo mode, all right? So let's say I wanted to go into snapshots, boom. Okay, you see how that works? If I want to go into history, if I want to go into collections, it's the same kind of deal. It will just solo everything out, which is really cool. You can also hit hide all if you want to hide them all, and then you can go into show all. So you can really kind of clean up your workspace if you want to, um, and that can really kind of help to make your workflow a little bit faster because sometimes when you're working, you don't want to have to scroll through all the different modules in the uh, develop module. You want to just basically have one open at a time. And this really kind of simplifies that. So there you go. There's some quick tips in Lightroom for helping to organize and make selects in your workflow. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. That's it for now, and we'll see you soon.